little start here. Coach, when you went back and uh, watched the film, you know, ready to break it down for the exhibition the other day, kind, yeah. of what, kind of what jumped out from you know, first thing, first time out? Defended the three pretty well. Um, a few too many attempts, but some heavy contests and for the most part, attention to detail was, was pretty good. Our valuing of the basketball, our assist turnover ratio was on point, uh, especially for this early. I thought we just did a pretty good job of mixing in some, some transitions, some pitch aheads, yet some poise as to, we don't have numbers, let's kick it back out and let's execute something. I thought we had a pretty good feel there and it's really early, so we hope we don't have, you know, one or two steps backwards and another couple forward. Uh, hopefully we can maintain that momentum there. Um, defensive rebounding was a concern. Um, and then when you watch it on film, it remained a concern. We've got to get better there, more physical. Our guards got to help our bigs. We've got to do a better job collectively. Um, and then we've got to be better on the offensive glass. We're just, we're a more talented rebounding team than we displayed and um, we've communicated that and, and we'll drill it. You know, uh, A lot of what you do this time of year as we talked about is, is trial and error. It's, you know, what, what are you, what is the glaring weakness this week? And let's try to, you know, plug that hole. Um, at the same time, make sure we don't um, leave alone some of the things, you know, that we've gotten better at uh, in the meantime. Like when you were assembling a roster when you first got here, mm -hmm. what were you looking for in terms of, uh, you know, characteristics of these guys? And, and what do you think you have, you know, after being with them for months? We wanted to bring in some winning, some winning experience, and we did that. Um, we wanted to bring in guys that fit um, what we were trying to do defensively and on the glass as much as anything, just to try to uh, maintain uh, a level of competitiveness in those areas, uh, which are a little bit easier to control. You know, in, in, in a rebuild, in my opinion, um, coming off a tough year, of course, uh, I thought those were the areas that may give us a chance to be competitive night in and night out. Um, and with the guys we got out of the portal, um, they've they've each had some winning experience, of course. Now, not at this level and not having a uh, significant role, of course, but some guys that, um, that winning is important to. Um, and they've shown that with work ethic and, and, and character, consistency in practice. We've had a bunch of good practices. But We've, uh, we've got to find a way to, to manufacture some points at the same time. Mike, Jordan Hill, the Dogs 247. Uh, you know, we saw what MA was able to do in that exhibition. Just uh, how much is that sort of what you guys have seen all offseason? And what does he sort of bring to the table? Yeah, he, he's that guy every day. Maybe not so much in terms of numbers. Um, those things play out uh, like that often, but, but sometimes they don't. But in terms of the intensity level, um, looks exhausted between whistles. Yeah, he's that type of guy. He just he just plays really, really hard. And uh, he's probably a guy that's going to have to ask for a break every once in a while, which you like to see. He just leaves it out there. Um, biggest possession of the game for us um, was it was an extra possession, which I believe led to an open three, where he he dove on the floor, got a huge loose ball, and then pursued another off. Just, he's a multiple effort guy. Um, who's still got development offensively and defensively, and he's expanding, expanding his game offensively. Um, but his ability at you know at six seven, six seven and a half with, with good length to drive it and, and pass it uh, to post. He's he's versatile, um, and in time as he becomes a better outside shooter and, um, and just polishes his game uh, with with finishing overall, um, he's he's going to be a good player. When we had a chance to talk to Jackson, he talked about uh, you know the sort of the mantra of uh, you know family, you know people support staff, everybody around the program being part of a family. Where does that yeah. mindset sort of come from in, in your uh, you know leadership? Uh, probably comes from uh, Jackson and it come from a great family himself, right? Uh, and that so it resonates with him. Um, and I'm glad that's important to him, but. We talk about it a lot, and, and our guys have embraced one, two, three family at the end of practices, and families are going to have drama at times, and families are going to have ups and downs and wins and losses and, and fights and long talks, and 
uh, and so on and so forth. And that, that's that's part of family. But we've got to be open with with one another. We've got to help each other grow. We've got to be loyal to one another and not care who gets the credit and who gets the shot. And so we talk about that a lot. We talk about a, a bunch of other things, but it's funny that family resonates with him. Uh, that's what type of guy he is. It's been a pleasure coaching him. And heck, we're still zero and zero, but he's he's awesome to be around. He's a, he's a great leader. How's uh, Terry Roberts? Will he be able to play Monday? I'm not sure. Just uh, dealing dealing with uh, just just taking personal time. Yeah. How much have you gotten to see of Western Carolina getting ready for Monday, and what sort of stood out? Today, the first time. Um, what stood out? They played very hard. Uh, very perimeter oriented. Um, you know, they've got some guys they can throw it to on the interior, but they um, they put a premium on on stretching you um, and and shooting the three ball, um, pressuring defensively. They've got they got some speed and, and some quickness. And they've got they've got new guys as well too. So uh, we'll both both teams will be learning on the fly about one another. You know, throughout the forty, but. Um, I know they'll be prepared. It's a big opportunity for them. It's a big opportunity for us. You know, for uh, it's, it's a Division One opponent. It's uh, it's the first real one, um, and, and we're excited about about getting going today. We'll still be primarily more about us off tomorrow and a two day prep for those guys. Got four or two more questions. What's the excitement level like for you to actually get into a game, to, to have the crowd in the segment, and, and to sort of get the season started? Fired up. It, uh, it, it was. I, I felt it the other day, you know, in the exhibition, just wearing different colors, you know, and uh, sitting in a different place and coaching new guys, all new guys, not a few. Uh, so it was, I'm sure for all of us, um, a little bit emotional, you know, uh, a little different, a little, a little bit more exciting, um, probably more distraction than we'll have moving forward, hopefully at least, um, especially in, in, in game one. You, you hope that we've got a lot of that behind us. So there still be some more, uh, but, but we'll see. Holt, the transfer from Alabama, what has he brought to the table? Oh my goodness, um, plays really hard, ultra competitive. He's got a, he's got three or four guys like that that I would put at a, at the, the highest level in, in terms of, of just how consistently they compete, uh, how mad they get when they lose a competition in practice. Their, their willingness, their readiness to tip it up and just get after it every day. He's one of those guys. M.A. Moncrief's one of those guys. Terry Roberts is one of those guys. And, and those are things that, that, we, that, that um, we noticed in the portal, you know, as we're evaluating guys. Just like our whole roster, just like our whole staff, you know, he's, he's got to grow too. He's got, he's got room for growth offensively, defensively. But from an effort, energy, competitive standpoint, uh, versatility as well. I mean, he brings us a lot. He's got, got a chance to impact this program. Any questions? Cool. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, Mike. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Coach.